what is up guys, welcome to another video and today we are going to be bringing you another Ask Hippo. Um, today we've got like 7 or 8 questions, um, again a, a pretty weak uh, week for questions. So if you guys have got a question make sure to leave it down in the description below next week. We're going to go with the face cam, um, but this week I simply can't because I'm too lazy to go and turn on the lights. So yeah, let's get straight into another episode of Ask Hippo. Okay, so the first question is from Mr. Magnificent Media, and his questions are What is your favourite side skirt spoiler, uh, front bumper, rear bumper, and wi wide body kit? From Underground 1, um, do you think the PS5 will be the last physical console from PlayStation? And which classic car from the 1990s and prior would you revive or modernise performance wise, and obviously not including physical customization? So, we're going to answer the bottom two first, and then I'm actually going to answer the top one. So, um, number two, do I think the PS5 is going to be the last physical console from PlayStation? Um, quite possibly. I think quite possibly it could be. Um, I hope it isn't, but um, I definitely can see. You know, phys the, like everything kind of being put back up, in back up into the cloud um, in, in the next generation. I mean, we'll have to see. We'll have to see, really. But I'm 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 hoping it's not the last physical console because I kind of like having a big box in my room. But I mean, in the end of the day, it all depends on how you know technology advances. And to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if the PS5 is going to be the last physical console from PlayStation. You know, for all we know, the PS5 might be. The PS4 might be the last physical console um, from PlayStation, so but we'll, we'll have to see. I mean, Sony generally are doing pretty bad right now in terms of like money and stuff, like in terms of bankruptcy. So we'll, have to, we'll just have to see how it goes. Hopefully, it's not. We'll have to see. Um, but there was definitely room and potential for PlayStation and Sony to move into the cloud market in maybe 20 years' time. So maybe is my, my answer. Maybe. Um, and then obviously for number three, which classic car would you revive or modernise performance-wise? Well, uh, oh, I mean, it's so hard, isn't it, really, picking a car to, 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 to modernise and just to, to, to completely just soup up. So from the 90s and um, prior, I mean, oh, there's so many. There's so many. I mean, I'm not a big classic guy, but there is quite a few cars I would do. Um, the 3 Series, the old 3 Series, I would do that up. I uh, can't remember the, the, the actual like model number. Um, but the, the the first the first um, generation three series maybe, um, I think honestly that's the only one I would actually do up thinking about it. Uh, the first generation three three series is I think is the car I would modernise and uh, soup up performance wise. If I if if I had the money and I had a three series, I would definitely soup it up and put a big Hamans you know Munich Legends engine inside. I think that'd be pretty cool. So to answer that, I would say probably the first generation three series. Now to answer his last question, I thought I might as well go on Underground 1 and make a car myself. So, I'm going to quickly show you this little clip here. Um, this is something I made literally just now. Uh, it's an Integra and it's basically one of the best cars I've ever made on Underground, I think I can say. It looks clean, sophisticated and personally I think it looks absolutely great. So, um, yeah. Um, I couldn't really pick any specific bumpers or anything because the thing is like the bumpers look different in every car and obviously you're gonna have a different preference on different cars so yeah this is probably my fav one of my favorite cars I've ever made on underground generally um, I think if something looked across these lines I would be pretty happy and the thing is you can you, ch you can change the color and it complements you know the body kit on on the actual car which I really like so this is my perfect car for underground. Uh, I personally think it looks really nice, um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the last question answered. Okay, the next question is from Tom Jobs, and I don't think I've ever had a question like this before. Um, his question is, with his £400 he's getting for Christmas, what should he get? Um, <laughs> I've never had a question like this before. So much pressure is being put on my head right now. Um, so you've got 400 quid and you want to get some stuff for Christmas. Now, um, there's a few things I'm going to talk about, you know, for, for gaming Christmases and that kind of thing. Because um, there, there is quite a few things you can buy with £400. So, um, if you haven't already got a PC, I would say definitely, you know, try invest in a PC with £400. You could probably get a decent rig for 400 quid. Um, you know, nothing too amazing, but you could probably get something to start you off. Um, if you've already got a PC, maybe get a second monitor. Um, I mean, like, that could go a long way. Um, if you haven't got an Xbox One or a PS4, get one of them. Um, but if you have all these and you kind of just have got a bit of money laying around, honestly, I would just save it. Because um, somewhere down the line, you're going to want to need that £400. Um, so, my advice is to either get a gaming rig, 
a second monitor or save the money till you actually need it because you actually might find 400 pounds because might be actually become really useful um so for me personally if i had 400 pounds and um, knowing what i've got at the moment i'd probably get another monitor a steering wheel and that'll probably be it to be honest i think i'll save the rest maybe get far cry 4 but i think that's what i would get if i personally had the 400 pounds but it really depends on what you have already if you already have all those things that I already mentioned, I would definitely, you know, just put it to the side, you know, maybe get like one or two things which, which don't use the whole £400, but definitely get a PC if you haven't already got one. If you've got a PC, definitely get a second monitor. If you uh, haven't got a racing wheel, I think that could be pretty cool. Um, and then, you know, if you've got all these things and you, you like literally, uh, if you're balling right now and you've got a huge setup, put the money to the side because you're going to end up needing that £400 somewhere down the line. Okay, so the next question comes from Jacob Gaming one and his question is, when you get out of your parents' home, um, where do you want to live, basically, and um, would you want to live somewhere different? So, by when, when he says, do you want to live somewhere different, I'm assuming he means a different town. So, um, I would like to live, you know, somewhere near where all my family live. I think that's just something that everyone really would like to experience. Maybe somewhere down south would be pretty cool. I'm definitely going to stay put in the UK, I know that much. Um, but maybe somewhere down near London way or maybe like Birmingham Manchester way um, you know as long as it's a nice flat with good internet I think I'd be pretty good um, but to be honest I think I'd be stuck in student halls for a lot, quite like maybe a year or two because obviously if I go to university I'm gonna have u university accommodation so I'm probably gonna be stuck there if I go there uh, but I don't know, like, uh, really, realistically, you want to move out of the house when you're like 24, 25, maybe like 23. So, I guess we'll have to see, but I think, personally, uh, so I'm going to stay put in England, you know, obviously. Um, but being somewhere near home it wouldn't be too bad, but I don't think that's really on top of my priorities. I mean, I, uh, I don't know, I'd move it anywhere, really. Um, I don't really have a preference, I think I'd just move... Anywhere there is good internet, <laughs> and I'm close to a KFC, I'm sorted, stick me there. And the last question for this week's Ask Hippo is, what is your favourite non-racing movie? Um, there is such a big list. I, again, like I'm not a big movie person, but there's definitely a lot of movies which I really, really like. So, just to narrow it down, uh, best favourite non-racing movie? Um, I can't pick one. That's something I think's like, uh, like you just can't pick one. So I'll give you a selection, uh, some honourable mentions. You know, um, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. That was an amazing film. Absolutely love that to pieces. Um, Toy Story Three. That was an absolutely great film. Uh, you know, back in the day. To be honest, it would probably be between the two. I think Rise of the Planet of the Apes or Toy Story Three. I love Toy Story. I mean, I don't know what it is. I just, the series, oh, this is great. Um, but. I don't know, Rise of the Planet of the Apes was a freaking good film. I mean, that was just... Uh, the, the, the way the story was built up, I thought that was amazing. So, after uh, it asked me between the two. I don't know which one I would pick, but it's definitely between the two of them. So, uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes or Toy Story 3. I mean, uh, you guys are probably laughing there, sitting there thinking, oh, Toy Story 3, pussy. <laughs> that, that film, that film was unreal. That film was actually unreal. God, man, oh. I, I, I think uh, I would have cried, man. That, that, the, end, the ending, the ending, the ending of Toy Story 3 was unreal. I was just like, oh, I hope they don't ruin it with Toy Story 4. They're actually making a Toy Story 4. I really hope they. Oh, why are they doing this? Why are they doing this? Why? Ah, oh, I just please don't ruin this, Pixar. If if, if someone from Pixar is watching this, <laughs> don't ruin Toy Story 4, please. Just please. And that is another week of Ask Hippo. I hope you guys enjoyed this week. Um, I think that, that was a pretty good bunch of questions, to be fair. Um, if you guys have got some questions, make sure to leave it down in the comments down below. If you got this far, make sure to put um, hashtag Hippo Nation in your comment down below as you are asking the question. I want to see loads of questions for the last episode of 2014. And we shall see you next week. Make, guys, make sure to stay safe. And again, I shall see you next week. All social media, uh, all social media links are down in the description below. If you want to go follow me, and um, I will see you in the next video, guys. Peace.